All right, recent postseason results for the AL Central. This was important for me to put up here today just to show the AL Central's A lot of losses of on that list. In the playoffs, <laughs> hey, it's true. We need to present the facts. We are the network for baseball heading into the postseason. This division hasn't won a series since 2016 when Cleveland was making a lot of noise, of course, in the playoffs and ended up losing to the Cubs in the World Series. Cleveland, by the way, has never won a World Series. Point being, though, Jake, I think it's important. Two things. Number one, when you win a division like that, your record might be inflated because you're playing weaker opponents. And maybe, because we've got a good amount of body of work at this point, maybe they're not being prepared for the playoffs in the same way. Any truth to that in your mind? Well, I, you know, I don't know, but you're, you're, there is something there. We just talked about the Tampa Bay Rays and those guys playing in the big boy division and having mm -hmm. to face the New Yorks and Boston and going to Fenway. There's just something to that American League East, and, and I played in it. I know that there's something true. I played again in the American League Central. It's not the same feeling, but it's the major leagues, and these guys are playing good competition. Hey, you know, to me, I, I think when you look to the playoffs, it's a clean slate. Anybody can beat anybody. I was on teams that weren't expected to win, and we found ways to do it. I was on teams that were supposed to win, and we didn't do it. So, again, I, there is something to the American League Central. It was a weak division. Let's just call it what it was. We thought it was going to be Chicago's. Cleveland, Tito, manager of the year, in my opinion, what he's done with that bunch is how young they are. We're going to see. I, 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 uh, Check out that split, though. I mean, hey, and there's you can make splits all over the place for teams, even some of the best. Obviously, they're going to dominate the weaker opponents. Yep. But, I mean, the record is, is pristine against the central rec. And then against the rest of baseball, they're close to 500. I'm just – the point of all of this is – Cleveland had an awesome season. It's a great story, but let's also remember that even though the Rays are stumbling a bit into the playoffs, they played in the AL East. Yes, they played in the AL East. They played in one of, if not the best division in baseball. Uh, I will, we'll just call it, it is the best division in baseball because uh, the Baltimore Orioles were a really good team. They're not even in this postseason. Uh, but yeah, when you look at what the Rays did to get to where they are, uh, they went through a ton of adversity this year. So this is a team that's tested. You have a team in Cleveland that I love, I love this team. I, I, I like them to win this series and move on, and I wanted to pick them over the Yankees. I just couldn't quite do it, like I said earlier in the show, because of the matchup. But I love this Cleveland team. It's just, yeah, when, when you're coming out of the AL Central, you've got disappointments in Chicago. White Sox were probably the biggest disappointment in baseball this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Minnesota Twins kind of came up, and they looked like they – and then they fell off. So this Cleveland team, they didn't get it by default. They won it, but – that's just a caveat. Yeah. This Cleveland team's not scared. No. No, they're, they're not scared. scared. And they're, it, you could make a case playing with house money a little bit That's because right. they weren't expecting Absolutely. to be here and, and they're so damn young.